In our community and beyond, there may come a time when we realize we were not prepared for the loss of a spouse or a partner. Suddenly, we are faced with questions like, where is that list of usernames and passwords? Financial documents, where are all of our equipment warranties, service agreements, insurance papers? Who services our cars, our HVAC and irrigation systems, and more? These situations can cause us to reflect on how we should have done some things differently, paid more attention, been better prepared. Those are the times when we say to ourselves, wish I would have known. Let's join our Wish I Would Have Known host, Denise Ertel. In this episode of I Wish I Would Have Known, we're going to focus on the challenges of taking care of maintenance around the house, the yard, and the car independently once we've been part of a couple. Some of the things that might trip us up, the practical day-to-day -day challenges. And with me today are two Teleco Village residents who've agreed to share their experiences and their stories. Welcome Lucia and Marcy. Lucia, let's start with you. You told us a funny and somewhat inspiring story about the challenge of you conquering a clogged kitchen sink. That happened a few weeks after my husband Tom's passing. My daughter was visiting me. I prepared pasta. We had a nice time. I made a mistake of putting the leftovers in the kitchen sink. And suddenly I realized the kitchen sink was clogged. It was Friday night. No way I was going to find a plumber, not even maybe during the weekend. So I luckily I recall that I had seen Tom fixing it a couple of times. So I thought, I can do this. I had never done anything like that. So anything at home about fixing appliances. So I took a bucket. I went under the kitchen sink. I unscrewed the, the, pipe, the, the drain pipes fix them, clean them out, and it was done. So I have to say I feel proud of myself and I needed some more confidence during those days and that helped me. Yeah. And Marcy, your little nemesis was a, another appliance around the house that um, maybe you hadn't looked at before but suddenly you had to fix it. What was that about? The robot vacuum cleaner was not working. It had the red light and was just going around in circles. It had tiny little screws in it, but I took it apart. I cleaned it. I actually uh, put it back together <laughs> and it ran. <laughs> and I'm like so excited because it's still running today. <laughs> now you both told me there's some chores that you simply didn't want to take on yourself because you either felt you didn't have the skills or the time or the interest in doing them, but they still had to be done. And perhaps you wish you would have known how to do them beforehand, but how did you manage them uh, once you, they were now your responsibility? When you have to suddenly do something at home, you just need to find a way. In my case, I always consider I admire those people who really love doing things at home and are good at it. I think I am not. What I basically did is I had to really think about taking care of the mowing the lawn, taking care of the garden. Uh, I also can add paying bills, taxes, etc. So I work full time, so that's my perfect excuse. And I said, okay, I need to find help. So I found a way to work extra hours and to be able to pay those people for help. That I have someone mowing my lawn, other taking care of the weeds, uh, the bushes. I have an accountant. I have even people who help me cleaning so I can work more. And you also said, uh, in addition to hired help, neighbors, neighbors helped and as well. That's yeah. something very important. Yeah. Neighbors helped me from the beginning. Yeah and that makes my life yeah. much easier. And Marcy, you said you had the same concern about who's gonna do this landscaping. My husband had hired someone and he was new to the business and I just really didn't like the way that he, he was doing it. And so after my husband passed away, I was talking to another gentleman who did the lawns for two of my other neighbors. I asked him if he would take it on and then unfortunately I had to let the other guy go. 
I felt terrible about it because my husband was one who hired him. You felt this, this person was better for you because... He was. He, he was friendlier to me. I could talk to him easily. And I just felt very comfortable because I hadn't felt comfortable for a long time yeah. after my husband so passed. So maybe identifying some people that might be potential resources in the future for you. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I should mention that there is a wonderful resource <coughs> um, available to all Teleco Village uh, residents called Stay in TV, Stay in Teleco Village, which you can find uh, on the internet uh, if you Google it. And there's some planning guides in there and also uh, people that can help in the village. So let me add in closing, is there anything that in hindsight you wish you would have known, you wish you would have talked about that would have made this transition easier for you? I wish I would have known really more about the, not that much about things at home, like fixing things, because that is something that difficult to learn. You just not need to put it in practice. But in general, to be more prepared in case my, my husband one day was not going to be there with me. And I think I would really recommend people, you don't need to talk about, oh, when I pass or when you pass away. It's what happens if you have to go into a surgery or you have to do a travel, that a trip that you cannot postpone. So be ready, be at least known a few things, passwords, how to the electric box works, <laughs> things that yeah. you may need that help, that information. Yeah. Um, in the middle of the night in the or on the weekend. Of the night. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. How about you, Marcy? Any closing advice for us? I wish I would have got more information from my husband. I wish I would have had it all laid out for me so that I would feel comfortable getting someone either to do it for me or try it myself. Or if he just would have told me about everything. He, he did everything for me, mm -hmm. and except I cooked. He grilled, and I haven't grilled since, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> do you have any desire to grill? <laughs> no, thank you. Thing. I've never grilled, yeah. and I will never do it. <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> right, right. Okay. So maybe observe things around the house, have some conversations, find out other resources in the community. I think very good advice. Thank you again, Marcy and Lucia, for joining us today and sharing your great advice and experiences. And look for more episodes of Wish I Would Have Known on the Telco Village Network. Thank you.